Hey, it's Trip. It's Sunday. Um, I can see again. Snow is starting to fall from the sky. I'm trying to get used to my shorter haircut. Um, yeah, see, um, see, short. My hair is short. Now there are some goals I was trying to achieve by getting my hair cut. I actually like the gray, so being able to show it off a little bit, see, look at all that, it's nuts. But it was hiding underneath the mop I had on my head. Um, but yet it is still long enough that I can nervously run my fingers through it when I'm feeling goofy and need to think. So, yeah. Um, I thought that since it was Sunday and Trish was off to a Shakespeare class that I would waste a little of your time um, with some music. Just some stuff. I'm trying to work through. Um, the first thing, I'll see if I can do this right. It, there's no, no promises here. I'll just start it for you because I'm not going to sing it all the way through. I'm going to work up a whole um, other post. I'm going to work up a whole other post. That was called tuning, sort of vaguely to itself, not really tuning it to anything else. Um, the banjo. Something that Roger and I were working on the other day, and I'm going to work up a whole post just with this song because it's fun, and I've got the right banjo for it. I've got the right kind of banjo. Do you know, this is a four-string banjo. It, it's good for very little <laughs> other than entertaining me. So, that being said, um, here's a little something. At the start of something. Hmm. Here we go. My heart, there's so many songs about rainbows. What's on the other side? But only illusions Rainbows have nothing to hide So we've been told And some choose to believe it Let's see if I can do it. No! Drat! This is where we're practicing. Aha! But I know they're wrong way learn it so I don't have to scream when I try to go for the B minor thing. It's not that. It's just a B minor, but I don't play it often. You know, it's like on this. The Irish banjo is technically a melody instrument. Um, so it's actually better for stuff like that, you know. But anyway, so yeah. So to actually have to chord stuff is still Vaguely, sort of, kind of, not vaguely, clearly, unfamiliar territory. I'm getting there. But this is fun. It'll be pretty. Um, I'll work that out. Um, I've also been looking through these. I have three volumes of, I think there are like seven volumes in the collection. I have, the I have two, three, and four. I need to find one somewhere. Anyway, just working through tunes. I'm thinking that this might be a fun ballady sort of thing um, to learn. It's really well known, actually. Uh, Star of the County Down. One of the girls, my, the, the Irish band that I am in, um, we're gearing up for St. Patrick's Day. So we have gigs on March 12th, March 13th, March 14th, March 16th, March 17th. It looks like the day itself we have a gig. We're still working the details out. I don't want to spoil anything. And then on March 30th, we'll be at Columbia College um, playing a big benefit there. Um, but this is one that I want to work up. Let's sing off that flat E. Yeah, not an E flat, it's a flat E. So, near to Bainbridge Town in the county down one morning in July, 
Down a boring green came sweet Colleen, and she smiled as she passed me by. Oh, she looked so neat from her two white feet to the sheen of her heart. Ah, uh, this is awful. To the sheen of her nut brown hair. Sure, the coaxing elf might to take myself to make sure I was standing there. Oh, from Bantry Bay up to Derry Quay, and from Galway to Dublin Town. No maid I've seen like the sweet Colleen that I met in the county town. I have a lot of work to do, but it's pretty, and yeah. Um, so that's sort of what I'm doing. Trish is, like I said, off to class, and I'm by myself on a Sunday. It's very strange. Um, there was no church for me this morning. I actually didn't get anywhere. I was hoping to go somewhere, but it didn't work out. But I think I've got something worked out for next Sunday. Go see a friend um, who pastors a church way outside of Chicago um, in rural Illinois. But it'll be really nice. That's what I've got for you now. I've wasted six, six and a half minutes of your time. Thank you for spending it with me. I hope you have a great Sunday evening. And if you're not watching this on Sunday, but on a later date, I hope whatever day that you're watching this, on is good, right? <laughs> we'll talk to you later.